Hey everybody, watch me open here. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to your weekly dose of Marvel box breaks here on the Watch Me Open YouTube channel. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell button so you get the notifications of when I open a box, which is usually every Wednesday at 6.30 Eastern. Or if there's a new episode of Marvel on the Brain that comes out every Friday at 7 Eastern. Or any video, mail, call, chat that I'm having in the week during between. And you'll be, you know, notified. So please support the channel. And that way I can continue to deliver the very best box and trivia content for you. A lot of new and exciting things along the way. Hope everyone is geared up for the holiday season. I know my tree is up. I've got all my Avengers ornaments on there. And I am very excited. So I, I'm opening a box of 2019 Marvel Flare tonight. And I have a guest with me who I've seen open a bunch of other Marvel flares. So it, it, it's going to be fun. We, we both know about the set. We both know what we're looking for. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have him. So welcome, Izzy or the Infinite Collector. Awesome. Thanks for having me on, man. It's going to be great to see you pull some fire. Yeah. As always, loving the, loving the backdrop. Yeah, yep. When uh, my wife picked it out and it was hard because everything looked too busy, she's like, well, why don't we do one that's different angles? And it worked. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So how many boxes of 2019 Flair have you opened? So I've opened a total of nine boxes. Okay. So not, not I think I'm up to eight. seven. Okay. I think, so I think this will be eight. Nice. Um, what was your... Not favorite, but best card in terms of like rarity value that that you pulled. Um, so I mean, I probably you know that I got a pretty good buyback, and that was actually the one that you guys witnessed that hobgoblin. Yeah, that one was pretty special. Um, but the the best one that I got was actually probably um the uh, Lucky Jade um Iron Fist. Okay. As far as what was my favorite, I pulled yeah. two two Lucky Jades. The Iron Fist was just epic. The um the art on it, I just love it. It just stood out so well. Yeah, absolutely. So, I didn't I didn't realize how 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 big a set that Lucky Jade is. I think it's thirty or forty cards. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty big, and I want to say the the golds are the same amount, which is crazy because then you there's just much more that much more you got to collect. <laughs> absolutely. Um, and then the other one was the uh, um, the gold um, Captain America um, Gold Age card. And yes. what was cool about that one is that it's like one in 200 packs. So, yeah, or, I, I believe so. Yeah. So and, for me, it would probably be the uh, the tier six that I pulled. Nice. Um, I, and I did pull a really good Psylocke buyback that I ended up selling just because at that point I, I wasn't too much into the inserts in general from the set and, and right. buybacks in general. I, I, I was still pretty new. Um, yeah, I wasn't. I'm still pretty new, but, you know, in, ter in terms of my return, it hasn't even been a year yet that I've been back into collecting. It's right. Like, right. Still well, to think about. well, at least at least this is one of those sets that. It's not. It's really underrated, and I feel like you can keep collecting it for a while because it is. Oh a big man! Set. Well, I mean, I think the word got out on that. Yeah. And the price of the boxes definitely got up since I first bought in. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because what are they up to? Like two eighty now, or two seventy five, or something? I got these for two thirty. Oh okay, but yeah, they when, are when I first bought in, they were one seventy. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, it, it was under two hundred, and it was like, "Holy cow!" Like, I'm like, "Yeah," and, and, it, and it almost seemed like, like too good to be true. You know that that like, <laughs> right? Like, oh, there must be something wrong with this, right? You know, me me still just getting back into the hobby, not knowing much about the product. It just seemed like, oh well, if it's so cheap, then then it must not be any good. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know what, how you feel with like the. Uh, some of the inserts, but some of the funnest ones to pull, I feel what were like the matter and antimatter. Cause I, oh, absolutely. They're, they're just so well done. I was like, I'd get one of those and I was just like, 
yeah, that's just, I didn't even care if it was a, a low tier or not. It just was cool to have. Pieces of flair I wasn't crazy, crazy about. Yep, I agree. That was kind um, of where I was at. Some and, of them were look, cool. That doesn't mean that, that they're not good for somebody. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think that any set by design is supposed to be, you know, appeal to, like, the, the whole set's supposed to appeal to, to, to a person. No, yeah, you know, exactly. It might happen, but I think that's why they have so many different inserts. That so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. There's going to be the obsessive set collector who it's like right. I got to have everything, but for the most part, I, I think they they do all that so that you know you could just pick one and and feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Another cool thing about this set is the autos are actually really cool. Like you're getting an auto with some killer like artwork. <laughs> so I can already see. Piece of flair. Oh, yep, it's thicker. Yep. And well, there's... maybe you'll get maybe you'll get an SSP. Ronin. Nice. Thor. I just love seeing this art. Yeah, it's twelve, so it's not an SSP. Oh, okay. I think I have that one too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so check. Maybe I don't. We can do some trading. <laughs> and then the flarium. Oh, yeah. Black, Black Widow. Widow. Black Widow is one thirty-eight, so that's gonna be a tier five. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That was. Like the second one I got in tier five, I believe. I don't believe I have that. Nice. Yeah, my first tier six was War Machine. My but only I... tier six is Ultron. Gotcha. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're probably like me too. You see them up and you're like, should I do it <laughs> or should I not? It's like, I'm waiting just because I'm like, maybe I'll just buy them all at one time at some point. Wow, going That's... through the thick cards quick. We got a stained glass here. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Maybe it's a photo variant. That's that's what we're hoping for. Get a numbered photo, photo variant. An orb and Scarlet Ooh, Witch. That is a nice one, though. And I have Scarlet Witch already. Wow. <laughs> no. That's wild. Oh, man. Let's not make this a double box. <laughs> well, I already got the Flarium, so that's good news. Because I, I don't have that one. Okay, good. So to get a Flarium that you don't have... Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like one, you know, tier one through four are, are are pretty easy to get. Obviously, tier six is the biggest hurdle. Right, but right. Tier five is not far off. Yeah. A scar. Yeah, that's a nice one. And then Hulk right Hulk. after that. Doc Samson. This is a gamma pack. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Did you see? Right. A, a little bit. Uh, uh, not not enough to make out what it was totally, but... But do you know what kind of card it is? Yeah. Well, sh just let me peek just a little bit and then... Or just hold on to it. Maybe you want to do that last? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it yeah. last. We'll do the Flarium next. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got Moonstar. Okay. Yeah, do that one last then. Moonstar is a tier one. Yeah. Tier one. And then, what do, you, what do you think of some of that like comic-y, um, cartoony art on this? Do you like? A lot of people. I, I like. like it. I just like the 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 concept that it's uh, it's combined. It's different. It's not yeah. all you know. That's again, I mean. it's like the, the the Black Widow. You know, that's a. It's almost like a an animated, cartoon. Yeah. Um, yeah, it it breaks it up a little bit for you know the set to kind of be have a cartoon but more of a mature yeah comic filter. Right. All right. Well, let, let's get to, let me get let me just go to the back so you can see what it is. Nice. Oh my gosh. Rodney Roberts. We just oh, talked gosh. about how you I you know say? you didn't pull one or you only pulled one? No, I didn't pull any of those. You didn't pull any, and this is going to be my third in eight boxes. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe this is one that you'll keep, though. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Whoa, Man. That's awesome. I like the, the blue tones and stuff with the to make the cloud. Is that yeah. just white cardstock, then, for cl the clouds? Looks Dude, like and it. you know I'm a villains collector, but I, I know someone who not only is an Iron Man collector... But he's a flare collector. Nice. He's going to lose it for this card. Yeah, that's awesome. 
that that's that's a uh, pretty soon that you pulled that one. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. And that we still we're not even halfway through the box, right? Yeah, anti venom. So six. nice the anti venom in a set. So we need tier sixes and we need lucky jades and or lucky gold jades. Nova. Yeah. Let's see All right. Those. So there's there's a jade under there. It's not a gold. Ooh, nice. Legion. That's a that's some pretty cool art though. I like that card. Yeah. Look at that white with the red. Like these are slept on. Like they're just great cards. Flare what number is that one again? That's a tier one. What was it? Dude. So we got a sketch, a tier five, and a lucky jade. This is a firebox. Maybe I'm the maybe I, for once I'm a good luck charm. Yeah. I didn't think that day would happen. <laughs> oh man. If, if we if we get some uh, tier sixes, then I don't know what what to do. I don't know where you got the box. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if that's possible. If you get a five and a six in the same box, <laughs> got black swan. Conchu, Maestro, Singularity. There's your totemic. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I know. There's some and of the, the totemic Man. teams are good, but there's just so many that are terrible. Yeah. Ant Man is a tier two. Yeah, me and my wife lost it when we opened up. She opened a box with me, and we got that big Bertha card. She's like, what am I opening? <laughs> what, what are we <laughs> what are we doing? I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, it'll get better. I can already tell. I see shimmer or something. It looks like uh Ooh, matter, maybe. antimatter maybe. No, through the or ages, power blast. Through, through the ages copper. Oh, that, okay. That's my bet. I haven't seen it, but I'm just, you know, guessing. Got it. So that that art is so great sick. venom. venom. Challenger and the last. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good nice. call. Nice. And then Spider Woman is a tier three. Nice. So you got the copper, and that's Iron Man. So if I, the the copper are the set. So is it bronze first and then copper, or how does it? Gold's the rarest, I think. Yeah, gold. And then um, the next one would be silver. And then I guess uh, copper and then bronze. I think I don't know. I'd have to double check. I think it might be bronze and copper. Yeah. So nice. And we got another totemic in here. Can you see it sticking its head out? <laughs> Angela. Regent. Hazmat. Night mask. Squirrel girl <laughs> and Wolverine, man. Nice. You know, I love this Wolverine art. I just feel like they wasted it on a tier one. Yeah, it? I know it should have been in like a tier six. Uh, yeah, five, it's, I mean, it's the pack art for yep. gosh sakes. Yep, but then again, maybe they just did it so it was more acquirable for people to get, I guess. Yeah, in between there, living lightning. Black Panther. Ooh, there we go. Matter She-Hulk. Oh man, that's nice. I know you like that. She's showing a little, a uh, little top butt there. <laughs> Those are some. Oh, least, I don't, I don't jeans. like stuff like that. <laughs> My page would say otherwise. <laughs> and Hawkeye tier two. Nice. That's a good. Uh, or tier three. That's a good She-Hulk too. Some art from her, like, I don't know. It just doesn't always turn out the best. That That's a good one, though. And last pack here. Wow. Look at all those hits. Oh, a sketch and a jade. Dude, that's freaking that's insane. Yeah, I don't know uh, what else we could get hit-wise that we haven't gotten. Maybe Power Blast. Power Blast would be nice. Yeah. Power Blast or maybe an auto in there somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Auto were autos in uh in a penny sleeve? I can't remember. You might no, be right. buy, buy backs are in a penny sleeve. Yeah, buy backs, but I can't remember if the autos were too. 
Uh, Singularity, oh, Dr. Singularity. Octopus. Nice. That I wonder if that's like an SSP short it's short term. Twenty, or... so I don't know how high it went. And then Century Tier One. Okay. But you gotta so the Singularity that that's a that's one I don't see too much. I don't see the Dr. Octopus up. I think that one actually I don't have. I'm gonna look real quick. I don't think I do. But I want to say. Yeah, that the set goes up to. Let me just check real quick. So, yeah, no, that that should be a S, an SP or an SSP. Nice. So yeah, that's a harder one to get. That is a really nice She-Hulk, though. Yeah, dude, that that is just sick. I mean, look at the way that shines. It's just so well executed. And I feel like I've seen a, a, quite a few of these, and this one shines. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, dude, that's sick. And she's got a show coming out. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Yeah, one of my, my, actually, one of my favorite matter cards is that the Moon Knight. Oh, nice. The Moon Knight card is really cool. Man, that, that's a good hit. See, that's such a big set. <laughs> like, Absolutely. I don't, even, I don't even have... I have, like, I feel like I have a lot of antimatter and matter cards, but I still don't have near a complete set. <laughs> and the Rodney Roberts, or Ruberts, Ruderts, it's... I, some, yeah, I something it's Roberts. Like Can you... Uh, Show that up closer to me. I want to look at those the details in the clouds. And the oh clouds. yeah. Okay, so that's I love it when they use this the uh, stock as part of the art, you know, and like yeah, the, yeah, the that's cool. That's super clean, super clean. Absolutely. <laughs> that's awesome. So you already know someone that will want it, then, huh? Hundred percent. I mean, this guy's got the craziest flair Iron Man collection I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy um, meeting all these new people. Like, I just met the uh, the biggest, like, Captain America collector the other day. Oh, and really? We've been chatting, and I can't believe how big his collection is. And there's quite a few Captain America collectors, because uh, Lucy, Black, you know, Black Star, she's right. a big Captain America collector. Right. Yeah, I haven't seen like much of her collection yet, but this other guy, um, he, he's just, I think he's the Captain America something. I'll have to look again on what his Instagram page is, but mm. he has like all the really crazy cards. He, he reminds me of like collecting how uh, Sketch Card and um, Doom Card collect. Right. Where they have all the weird things that you don't know exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I, I, I like. So the sketch, but what what my favorite hit is that you got is the uh, Legion Lucky Jade. I don't know something like about that card. I just can't stop. Yeah, looking I mean at it's, it. it's the only numbered card I got. So yeah, I just can't stop looking at it. It's so cool. I love the white mixed in with the red. Oh, absolutely. That's cool. And what number is he then? He's number six. Number six. Okay, got it. The little jacked up on the bottom yes I, I have noticed some of the the backs tend to get that way the fronts are always really good mint and it's actually embossed too like yeah these this, this white it's raised oh okay it is okay nice that's cool yeah, that's pretty cool yeah imagine that one in gold too that would look sick oh man well hey i still feel like this box was a win <laughs> You got some fingers. I can't believe you pulled a sketch after we were just talking. After we were nine just boxes talking. I, opened, I didn't get one sketch. You got three. <laughs> Jeez. Awesome. Do you remember what the ones were that you got? I know it was a, a daredevil long. and a rogue. It was a really good rogue too. I I I, I sold it. Oh okay. yeah, right. Yeah, I know you're saying um, you're looking at other stuff at that time and weren't collecting it. So, but no, that's cool to pull pull something good. Do you remember the artists or a little while back? Uh, I'd have to look at the videos or, right. or, or maybe chat with the person I sold to, but it was definitely a, a pretty known one. Yeah. Nice. Like, like the, the, the art was really well done that even if it wasn't an artist I'd heard of, you know, the, the, the work mm -hmm. spoke for itself. Right. 
Gotcha. Like it didn't it didn't hang around long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it because sketches are so hard, you know, they're only as much as someone would pay for them, you know. It's like yeah, you you can have this crazy Spider Man card that can just sit there because maybe the art's killer, but the artist isn't known, or vice versa, you know, it's like right. it's crazy. And when you're trying to move sketches, you do your best to you look at comps for the artist and then you know, like let's say uh you know, like like a Legion sketch by, let's just for example, like Ash, mm-hmm. isn't gonna sell for as much as a, a Spider Man sketch by Ash, so I can't use that Spider Man sketch as a as a as a reference for when I'm selling it, and and it's not always that easy. Of you know, like that's an obvious example of like right. like that comp's no good. But what if it's like, what if it's like Thor and and uh, Legion who you know. Thor, there's not a lot of people that collect Thor. Right. You know, he's a popular character. He's a big character. And, you know, in if we're talking about MCU stuff, he's collected. But the character Thor himself, like, I, I know, like, two people that collect Thor. Yeah, I collect Thor, but he's not my top. He's number five. <laughs> right. So he, it's not like I don't, yeah, go out of my way to collect him. So, yeah, you're right there. So, you know, and, and, and the point is, like, unless you know someone who collects that character, you have to find a value somewhere that 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 to the average collector isn't going to seem ridiculous. Right. Yep. I just um, made a post the other day when um, posting a sketch because I was like trying to come up with some some money. And uh, I put on there, I'm like, keep in mind, this is just. I'm not trying to offend anybody. If you think my prices are high or not, hit me with a number because I don't know. I only yeah. valuing them what I feel like they should be valued, but doesn't mean that's what they're worth. So there's three letters that go a long way in a sales post. O B O. Yep. <laughs> that's about it, right? Yeah. That's true. Uh, you know, like I'm I'm look, let's start a let's start a conversation. Obviously, I made this post because it's not PC for me, and I want to move it. And maybe, maybe I need a little bit of scratch to make another purchase. So, right, you know, the first person to speak first in the negotiation loses. Right, right. Well, I spoke first by making the sales post. <laughs> right. It's one thing if you knew I had it and you hit me up, but like the the, the people reading these sales posts got to know, like you already got me, like because yeah. I'm putting myself out there. Yeah. I still, you know, I still you're wish you're in a I great had, like, position to bargain. Right. <laughs> I still wish I had uh, something that was like one of your characters, like to have been a, like, okay, here's a grill card. You're going to want this. I want that gambit that you, that you got rid of. Oh, yeah. That was a good one, but but you got a good price for it. I feel like you guys negotiated yeah. and, and made a good deal. So that's good. Yeah. No, I was very pleased with that. Yeah. And and did you get to that one was from EPAC, right? Or was, Yep. Yep. So did you never physically get that to look at that card? No, like, no, but, I, but but I'll tell you wh- wh- when I pulled it, I didn't even have to flip it. Like, like I knew it was a Liddy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was losing my, my, my mind. Yeah. I saw, and I, I still flipped it because I was like, no, 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 it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> right. I've, I've never pulled a Liddy. I haven't, I haven't seen enough of Liddy to, but, so it's just like I felt something, like I felt tingly. Yeah, yeah, you, you knew you hit. It's like good. if you pulled an Ash because Ash does that thing where you know he covers the whole card, he'll cover the logo, he gets away with it. He's a mad. Oh man. yeah. Did you did you see that video I made of Ash? Um, the trailer. No. You, you should go Maybe. check it out. I made I made him a trailer um the other day with all with like a lot of his art. Last it's month. Pretty, you made. Yeah. What's that? You made it last month. Um. Well, I just made the trailer like three days ago, I think. No, like 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 a month and three days ago, because it's December right now. Oh, that's right. See, I, I got to get used to all this YouTube content that people put out. Yes, <laughs> a month and three days ago. There you go. Yeah. So, check, so everyone else, can, they can go check that out in a month. Yeah, if they haven't already seen it, which they definitely should have. <laughs> right. How do you how are you liking uh, the whole YouTube thing? Is it, it it once you get the hang of it, it probably it goes pretty easy, right? I it's mean, I'm still it's, learning. it's comfortable and and yeah. look, I'll put this out there right now because I don't want anybody to think it's a secret. Like this is a very specific side of me. 
Yeah. Right. I, and and I'm not like this isn't a fake me, but I only bring to these videos the parts of me that are going to help people enjoy uh, what I'm doing. Right. And so the me outside here is different, but, the, but, and it's not just for them. It's also for me because out there, I don't get to be this way about characters and comics yes. and cards and get this excited because I, I live in a professional world with people, you know, who judge you, you know, and, and, and you have to keep right. a And also like, th there's not going to be any point to me drumming up a conversation about, you know, uh, what happened to Spider-Man last month with, with, people that don't even follow, you know, comics. Right. right. Um, so it's like, it's not even that, like, I would get judged necessarily, but like, there's just not the opportunity. It, it, it's, yeah. So, yeah. So me, th this is, this is an outlet for me as much as anything. Like, yeah, the, the cards, like I was going to open the cards anyway. 90, 90% yeah. of the time I was going to open these cards with or without you. And I, yeah. with or without you, with or without you, 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 all of you, all you watching, I was going to open them with or without you. Right. But I just figured, you know, if it, if a tree falls in the woods does this, and no one's around here, does it still make a sound? Yes. But if <laughs> Bill opens cards and there's and, and he doesn't record it, you know, then nobody yeah. else gets to enjoy it except Bill. And that's selfish. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's nice to have other people enjoy what you're opening or what you're getting because – now it's an now it's an involved format of um, showcasing something you love. You know, then you can other people can enjoy it too. Because not everybody gets to open cards and boxes, and they can only enjoy it through all of us that open, right? <laughs> and I and I do believe in the in the educational value, the information uh, as far as like maybe somebody tunes into this video, they've never seen flare before. They've never seen a box of flare up before. They, they have an opportunity to buy a box of flare and they're like, uh, do I want it? What am I going to expect? What's going to be in there? Well, here you go. This right. is what to expect. Yep. You know, maybe not a sketch in every, in every box, That's <laughs> right. you know, but, right. but there are sketches in, in some of these boxes and there right. are all these other cards. And as we've explained, you know, there's the base cards, there's the flarium cards, there's one flarium card in every pack. There's one right. piece of flare in every box. There's two totemic teams in every box. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot for sure. It's a big right. set. And especially for like, like we both said, a very collectible set like this that's still available for most people. I, th I think it's very important for someone to know that, hey, this is something that you could get into and yeah. here's what it looks like. So this set and all those others, everything else I opened, I, I hope that somebody that watches it gets that part out of it. Yeah. Well, watching you do all the 1996 MM, I feel like, well, I don't have to necessarily open that box myself ever <laughs> because I can, I can live through you. <laughs> yeah on it and i think a lot of people are going to do that anyway because there's just there's a lot of stuff out, out out of reach for some people and uh um that's what kind of makes everything go around anyway but uh yeah I, I love this set i hope more people catch on to it i'm kind of wondering like how much boxes are actually floating around <laughs> oh there's, there there's got to be a good deal still yeah i mean I, I only see a few posted here and there i never see any on ebay anymore but i do see some comp c and blow you know there's still a those, case on ebay i think Oh, okay. Case would be nice. Yeah. If you get to get that for a good price, then yeah, that's going to be pretty epic. I think a case is 16 boxes too. Yeah, that's right. Instead of your typical, like usual 12 or something you get. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Cause, Cause this one, this one has like two inner cases. That's probably where those golds are <laughs> just sitting in there. That That's the thing is like, I know, uh, um, um, elusive, like, tried looking for not tried he is on the hunt all the time yeah so he, he, um but like yeah he, he comp c everywhere it's like it's crazy i mean i guess it could be locked right it's another yeah. option could be locked well, or... if uh if there's anybody out there with a, a venom a lucky eight gold out of eight uh elusive collectibles on instagram is looking for it and he'll be happy to pay you a king's ransom for it so you can yeah. you can you can hit him up. Yeah. Um, awesome. But thank you for very much for hanging out with me. Yeah. And, awesome. and sharing in this experience. And uh, yeah. Awesome. I, I, I hope uh, I hope it was as fun for you as it was for me.
Yes, it was. I love opening flare boxes. It could have been another box and I would have still been here. I just, it's, <laughs> it, I love, I love watching people open boxes. I love opening my own boxes, but just being involved. It's, it's super cool. So thanks for thinking of me and uh, can't wait to see this in a month or whatever it's going to be. No, no. It, it, in. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a few hours, it's going to go up. <laughs> Yes. All right. So in a few hours. Um, but um, anyway, though, too, real quick for you. Congrats on your tier four MM20. I just wanted to say that because that's not easy to do. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I loved seeing that they were all base um, tier four, too, because mine are yeah, mixed not, None of that purple, <laughs> orange, gold, what if mixed in there. Yep, that's me. I got them all mixed. <laughs> yep. Awesome, buddy. Well, thanks again. All right. Have a good night, man. Yep. You take it easy. All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much for hanging out. Uh, you can, you guys can find Izzy on Instagram at in, the Infinite Collector at Infinite Collector. One of those, either way. Try both. Maybe you'll get one of them. But he's got a lot of cool art and a lot of cool cards on his page. Uh, and appreciate having him. And I appreciate having you. So like, subscribe, follow, hit the little bell button, all that good stuff. And next time you can watch me open on Friday, you can find out who's got Marvel on the brain. But until next time, I hope you all have a very happy collecting.